Microsoft Excel employment test is the quiz which is used by employers to determine if candidate has enough Microsoft Excel skills to succeed on the job. Most of the time, the test is the scenario where you present it with the business problem and you need to solve it using Microsoft Excel. In this video, I'll share with you some examples of the questions we frequently see on the test. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's a very interesting question to understand how well you know the formulas and functions working with textual strings in Excel. Camilla is a data analyst at manufacturing plant. She was assigned the task to extract the first name of the plant worker from their full names using Microsoft Excel. What is the correct formula she can use to perform this task? And there are four different choices. Choices A, B, C, and D. As well as the snippet of data where column A contains full name of the workers and column B has the empty first name column. Do you know which one is the right formula to extract the first name? Take a close look, maybe pause this video to see if you can come up with the answer. And I'm moving forward so we can solve this challenge together. As you might have guessed, the correct choice is choice C. It uses left function and provides two arguments. First argument would be value of cell A2 and second argument would be find function which supplies space as well as argument A2-1. Let's jump to Microsoft Excel to simulate this scenario. You see that in the question section, we need to extract full name and John Smith has a space in between John and Smith. Let me go to the answer tab to demonstrate. When I type the formula, you see the correct value in cell B2 is John. Let's understand how this formula works. Left function returns the specified number of characters from the beginning of the text. In this case would be the first word and it will return them until we find the space in between John and Smith. We also use find formula as an argument to actually find the space. What's interesting is we need to subtract minus one from the result of the find function. And this is necessary because the left function starts counting from the left side of the string and the find function starts counting from the right side. Now as a last step, let's replicate the formula across all the rows and you see that it successfully extracted all the values. Were you successful finding the right formula? Please make sure you share your discovery process as well as possible alternative answers in comments. Here's an amazing question we see on the test more and more often. You need to find the correct output of Microsoft Excel function and you're presented with the statement equal sign, floor, and then in parentheses, 64,5. You have four different choices to select from. Choice A, 60. Choice B, 65. Choice C, 63. And last but not least, choice D, 70. Take a close look, refresh your memory, and see if you can select the right answer. On my end, I am moving forward to share with you my version of the answer. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post in comments. Let's jump to Microsoft Excel, where we can solve this together. Let's put the floor function into the cell B2. Once we type the function, you see that it accepts two arguments. The first argument is the number. The second argument is significance. The floor function is used to round number down to the nearest integer based on the multiple of the significance. So the correct answer here is 60, which is represented by choice A. Did you figure it out correctly? Or did you have a different answer? Please make sure to post your answer and solution as well as rationale in comments. I get a lot of questions asked about skills tested as part of Microsoft Excel assessment test. Even though it might be difficult to predict what type of questions you will get in the test, I recommend focusing on the five key areas. I would recommend you focus on the most commonly used Excel formulas and functions. For example, sum, sum if, average, min and max, and a lot of others. I would also focus on VLOOKUP function to pull the data from other sheet and also focus on how to use index and match formulas. I would learn how to use COUNTIF function because this is an important function that might be used to count words or numbers. I will also make sure I know how to add hyperlinks to the content of the cell to point to the website and another place in Excel worksheet. If I would be preparing for the test, I will make sure I know how to use drop-down menus 
to limit the selections based on the content from another document. Is your experience similar to my observations? Which other questions do you see during the Excel hiring test? Please make sure to share your observations and comments. And on my end, I am going to continue to make sure you get ready for the test. Here's an amazing question to test your knowledge of Microsoft Excel features. Purchase orders, POs, were mistakenly created with 2021 Financial Year ID. Which Excel feature allows you to change all purchase order starting numbers from 2021 to 2022? And you have four different choices. Choice A, Consolidate. Choice B, Flash Fill. Choice C, Goal Sick. And last but not least, choice D, find and replace. Take a close look at the purchase order numbers in Microsoft Excel and see which feature would you choose to complete the action. Did you figure it out? I am moving forward to share with you my version of the solution. And obviously, if you have a better way to solve it, please make sure to post and comment. I believe the correct answer here is choice D, find and replace, because find and replace feature in Microsoft Excel allows users to quickly search for and replace specific text or values in the worksheet. Let's jump to Microsoft Excel so I can show you an example. Here in Excel, I try to emulate the scenario from the question. In column A, you see purchase order numbers. To replace 2021 as a leading year, you need to navigate on the Home tab into the Find and Select area and click Replace. You're presented with Find and Replace box. And here we need to type in 2021 in find what and replace it with 2022. I am going to demonstrate you two ways of doing the replace. Let's find the first value first. We click find next and Microsoft Excel pointed us to the row 2. Here we can click replace and it will replace the value in the row 2 from 2021 to 2022. We can also use the feature called replace all which will complete remaining nine replacements. So I believe the correct answer here is choice D, find and replace. Do you have a better solution? Please make sure to post your answer in comments. Here is an interesting question you frequently see on the test. You're presented with a set of data and you need to add serial number column to this data using Excel formula. In our case, we're presented with student grades information. And for each student, we need to add a serial number. Do you know how to do it? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can complete the steps in the simulator. And I am going to move forward and reveal the solution for you. The first step here is to add a new column. Assuming that we will be adding the data to the left of the first column, the easiest way to add a new column is to do a right mouse click, click Insert, and this action adds a new column. We will give new column a name serial number and extend the column so we can see the data. The first number in the series, in my case, will be one, but you can use pretty much any number. In the next row, we will add a formula and our formula will be very simple. We will add the value of the first serial number, plus one, or you can use any different formula depending on your business circumstances. Once you hit enter, you see that the second value is 2. And now I can expand this formula for the entire data set and you will see that the numbers are increasing. Keep in mind that this number might be different from the actual row ID. And if you use different formula, the number will be different for sure. And then the last step here is to apply formatting to the column. To do this, we need to select the column, navigate to the Home tab, select Format Painter, and then apply it to the newly created column. I get a lot of questions on how assessment tests are used in the hiring process. I would like to highlight three important areas companies use assessment tests. They use them for hiring and employment decisions. For example, hiring manager or HR might choose to test the candidate before hiring them to ensure candidate is a good fit for the position. Second way to use it is grow talent inside the organization. For example, some companies use the test before making hiring decisions to promote the candidate. And last but not least, the third way to use it is to determine levels of motivation. For example, if your company is looking to implement a new system 
or technology, it might be helpful to assess people on their interests and motivation related to this technology. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Very frequently on the test, you get a question about usage of formulas in Excel. And sometimes you get a questions on how to display data in the status bar. For example, let's look at the question how to display minimum, maximum, count and average in Excel status bar. You are presented with the data set of the student grades, which displays student names and their grades in physics, math, chemistry and biology. Do you know how to add auto calculations for their grades in the status bar? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the solution. Ready or not, I am going to move forward and share the answer with you. To accomplish this task, as you might have guessed, all properties related to the status bar can be enabled by right mouse clicking on the status bar itself. This presents us with the formulas for average, count, numerical count, minimum, maximum and sum. In our case, we need to select average, count, minimum and maximum and you will see that all these values now show on the status bar. Do you have an alternative way to solve it? Please make sure to post it in comments. A lot of times you might be presented with the question that tests your knowledge of Microsoft Excel user interface. Let's look at the sample question from the recent test. How to move the data set three cells down and one cell to the left in Microsoft Excel efficiently? You are presented with the data set of the student names. It contains names of the students as well as their grades in physics, math, chemistry and biology. Do you know the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time to see if you can come up with the solution. Ready or not, I am going to move forward and reveal the final answer to you. Obviously, there are multiple ways to move the data in Excel. One of the easiest ways is to select the data set and then in the Home tab use the Cut function. Identify the new location by putting the cursor in the upper right corner of the new location and pasting the data in the new location. But the question is, is this way the most efficient way, as the question asks? Let me undo this operation by using the Undo button and I'll show you another way which might be more efficient. I'm going to use the Escape button on the keyboard to unselect the range, select it again, and the trick here is when you move the cursor to the end of the range, you are able to drag and drop the range. I'm going to drag and drop it three cells down and one cell to the right and position it in the new location. Do you know any other solutions? Please make sure to share them in comments. As you might be well aware, one of the fastest way to get ready for the test is by practicing. And learning by practicing helps you understand key patterns used in the test to be prepared to anticipate different questions. There are only a limited number of patterns that can be used in the test and you can learn about all of them by using ebooks for your practice. If you are in a rush and need to get for your test faster, please make sure to check out available resources at howtoanalyzedata.net. Our team of experts created this training materials based on the years of research and they kept up to date with the questions employers use on the current assessment tests. Thanks for your endorsement, support and patronage. And now let's continue and get you ready for the test. Here's the question which tests your knowledge of modern Excel formulas. You are presented with the list of student names in the column A and you need to decide which Excel formula should you use to retrieve the value of the row with ID 7. The value in this row is Prisha Patel. You have four different choices to select the correct formula. Choice A, formula row. Choice B, formula find. Choice C, formula index and choice D, formula match. Do you see the answer? Give yourself a little bit of time, maybe 10 to 20 seconds. See if you can pause this video to come up with the right solution. Ready or not, I'm going to move forward and share with you the correct solution to this problem. As you might have figured out, the correct formula is index. 
in fact index returns a value of the element in the table or in the array selected by the row and column number indexes. When entering index formula, you need to enter the array and provide the row number. The column number is optional. In the case of this particular question, to retrieve the value of the row with ID 6, you need to enter the index formula and then select an array of values starting from the row with ID 2 and then enter the value 6 because our array of values starts with the actual values with the title of this range. Once you hit enter, you see that the correct value was selected by the formula. Do you see any other solutions? Do you know any other formulas that will help accomplish this task? Please make sure to post them in comments. Here's the very interesting problem where you need to determine the value using index and match Excel formulas. Specifically, you need to determine the math grade for Prisha Patel. You're presented with the range of values which includes student name, physics, math, chemistry, and biology grades. And you need to enter the formula to calculate the value. Do you see the solution? Do you know how to solve it? Let's move forward and solve this challenge together. We can solve this challenge in two steps. In step one, we need to use the match formula to identify the ID for the row with Prisha's name. First, we need to select what we are looking for. In this case, we can either type the full name for Prisha or we can use asterisks and just type the first name. Second value for the match formula is the range. We need to select the range from A2 to A11. And third value, we need to specify what type of match. In our case, we will be doing exact match where we need to select the value of 0. Once completed, formula returns value of 6, which represents ID for the row where Prisha's name is located. Once we've identified the row, we need to find the second column in this row to return the math grade for Prisha. To do this, we start typing the formula select the range B2 to E11 to identify all the grades, then enter the match formula to help identify the row where Prisha's information is located. And then we enter the column ID. And looks like I mistyped the formula and entered extra apostrophe. Once I remove this extra apostrophe and hit enter, the correct value is returned, which is the math grade for Prisha. The final formula looks like this. Hopefully you've nailed this question and now know how to answer similar problems on the test. Thanks for watching. If the content was helpful, please give us a like and consider subscribing. This is the way for you to tell us that you need more content like this and we'll make sure to deliver it for you in the future. For links and resources referenced in this video, please check the description. You can also go directly to our website howtoanalyzedata.net to find what you're looking for and download the materials. We really thank you for your endorsement, support and patronage of this channel. Please leave feedback, suggestions or corrections in comments. And all the best on your journey. I'll see you in my next video.